Um, but up next is Karsten Williams. Um, he actually is coming back from an ankle injury. I had the opportunity to talk to him this morning. He said it's doing uh, a lot better, not 100%, but good enough to run this course, hopefully. This is the Big Cat Ninja training out of Ninja Nation Frisco. He's been here all week uh, with his athletes from Ninja Nation, coaching them on the sidelines. They've had a, a really great uh, showing from their kids, and now Karsten hoping to uh, continue this on. Oh, oh, so far, beautiful. so good. Now, what are those stickers on his arm? Can anyone see that? I cannot, know. Uh, okay. I can tell you that they're a green and a red sticker. <laughs> Karsten, two for two, beating stage one in 2017 and last year. Actually needed a rerun. Um, he was ruled to have touched down on Tar Heel turn, but they reviewed it. He didn't touch, and he beat it a second time. Ooh. He actually uh, cut his ankle on the rope last year. Fun now, fact. Karsten looks up to uh, Jonathan Bange, who we also saw coaching here, and another athlete band. That's one for the day. Can he go three for three on stage one? 30 Kazuka seconds. Bazooka barrel. Yes! Look at that power. That's Incredible. how you do it. All right, guys, 24 seconds to get through here. Now, 20 seconds has been enough for the other age divisions, but this configuration, no! oh, a little bit different. What was he going for there? I, it's I just don't know. I think a traditional side-to-side -side move. But here's the thing. These uh, splat lots they now have poles on, I don't know, I guess they have had poles on both sides throughout the week. But when you're flying towards that and you have to catch it sideways and those massive poles are sticking down, you're going to really have to get over your fear complex um, because if you don't catch that just right, you're, you're going to hit your face on a pole. <laughs>